It is the opposite of what I thought I was building. I thought I was building spin. This thing just literally makes the ball go 30 yards farther. I feel like I'm Tig right now. To me, Steve, you could have done this a lot better. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. If I were you, I would have glued it first and then cut it. Dude, I tried. Welcome back to another Steve and Casey did video. We are out here at Sunflower Hills. About to slap you with another, what I think is going to be a banger of a video. Me and Garrett went to Walmart. I saw a bike tire. I was like, ding dong. I did a groove list of it. I was like, why not see if I can't get the most spin possible on a ball? So I put a bike tire onto golf clubs. Let's take a little peek at this. Look at that, guys. When, you, when it comes to traction, this is like level 10 of traction. Traction control has been engaged. <laughs> and this took me a hot minute to do all this work literally like four hours including the gluing i hope you guys enjoy this video like always if you're new hit subscribe button if you're not new hit the subscribe button it's never an option it is don't do any of that mandatory <laughs> it's mandatory exactly what peter said i'm almost at 100k i can say that now because i'm getting close but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video. whenever you record yourself you're right in on your feet like, <laughs> dude i like i'm seeing i like i'm seeing my shaven face hopefully i can beat tig because that's all i want to do peter what are you saying exactly we're diving right in hey it's kind of consistent it is kind of consistent i want to see if we can't get a massive amount of spin playing four holes a par four a par five a par, par four, four and a par three. three i hope you guys enjoy this video let's jump right into it so all right guys i'm gonna start us off and be the kind of guinea pig here and see what happens that's not really fair to guinea pigs no but that is a five what iron is that it's a four iron it's a four iron I hopefully they don't go straight there. left i just want to see a massive amount of spin oh my lord dude. wow that was a rope that was absolutely yeah, smashed. That was hit so well. Are you serious? I'm so impressed. Did you see the one I hit out of the air too? That absolutely launched. Oh, what if we, we get a bunch of illegal clubs that we've made over the time? And we play a full round. We, we get a full set. This is, might be what the goal is. Make 14 illegal clubs and play with them all at the same time. Okay, we have a grooveless club. To, we have grooves. We have to make some more grooves in the club. We have <laughs> square <laughs> grooves. Oh, no, that's what this was. We'll cut some new square grooves. We have bike tire. We have square grooves. Sandpaper. We have grooveless. We're going to have sandpaper. We just did a drill holes in a club and then we're gonna make we got a lot more coming okay, we have a lot of videos i hope you guys stay tuned for that here we go bike tire absolute massive amounts of tread garrett garrett kind of kind of kind of hooked that one but that's still gonna be all right that have a lot of spin on it no it goes what i always have headphones in dude <laughs> yeah that's true this world is so quiet what <laughs> i just want to know where you've been for the past six months i've been here where have you been here in the world here we go steven what the four iron right a little left of me Hit it solid though. First thought, this thing is heavy as crap. All right, here's where I've landed behind a tree. Garrett's just up there, also behind a tree, and Tig drilled his to the center of the fairway. Tig, how far are you out? I'm, I rolled over the hill. I'm close to the 150. I, I nuked it. Let's clean our place today. Yeah, we're playing it up so we can get the best vibes off the clubs. Yeah, the pin is all the way on the other side. He's still got 200 yards. I don't think he's really got a chance of getting this one in there. Oh, if that carries over the rough that's gonna be good all right little layup this I thing is an absolute trampoline off the face it's called the new trampoline technology that we have taken these wilson clubs and absolutely shot them through the roof this the value of them right now probably went up at least 75 percent Ooh, this was crispy you smashed that into the bunker wait Dude, that went over the bunker how do you get over okay it bounced over i got a chip i think i actually put some draw on that some draw spin spun the draw around honestly i'm more interested in how the wedges are going to react that's my big toy i'm thinking about hopefully they spin like a samba hey can you stop trying to hit a 52 degree 500 yards seven iron one time i'm not i'll give it to you back when we were in dallas he did hit a 52 degree like 160. 172 to the pin and i hit it to one foot but it is a once in a back lifetime thing day. put it on a rope once again Not much That's spin. It. I think I could have hit 52. I think it's actually the opposite of spin. I feel like yeah, it, it just goes. It. it doesn't spin. There's nothing to grip it with. It doesn't really spin because it's rubber. Why it's did grip. you say it like that? <laughs> Here we go. I'm a little short. I need to get this on the green. Do the thing. If if this video gets a horse, then I'll buy a horse. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys get a horse amount of likes on this video, Steven will buy a Corvette. All right, no, I'm I'm being for real. If this video, what's your number? I really want you to Th buy. Does it. any? Yeah, everybody's pushed me to get it. Is anybody interested in cars? I don't know. That's, let us know. Let me know if you're interested in cars. If if you guys are interested in cars, then get this to ten thousand likes. And a surprise on the other end will have. It'll be a big one. And Steven might get a car, like a nice. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. I'm gonna here. see if this spins at all. D no spin. No spin, but that was a really good shot. It was a good shot. Pew! Pew! You 
you like leave real quick? What is he doing? I swear he's doing something weird on everything. I, this is the exact opposite of how I thought this was gonna go in my mind. Literally. Here's where Tig has landed. He needs to get this up and down for a nice light par. There is my par putt, not bad. And then Garrett bounced over that bunker. That, okay, that did spin. <laughs> I have a par putt. I do too. You're farther out. Think about that, son. Now, there's a fly on my ball. Freaking Jerry, get. I mean, get. all right, you're with the wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties right there. Garrett, act like nothing happened and put that in the hole for par. It does spin on the putt. <laughs> Shut I was going to see if you can make your bogey. Big is out. He can make this for par. Did you see that? That just ran over a bug. All right, can we get an excuse counter on the first <laughs> hole? No, I'm not even kidding. Y'all see it fly off? It flew off. The bug flew away. All right, I'm done. I'm going to see if I can't make my par with my bike tire. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's something. Look at that. Pot. Me and Steve just switched places. It actually spins. Watch it. Dude, dude, it doesn't spin. It spins on the butt. Bro, it doesn't spin. No! It's so bouncy. Alright, here's for my bogey. You just gotta get a little more up. You're not making yours, Tig. I don't even know if I'm gonna make my double. <laughs> You'll be alright, Garrett. Yes! And Steven takes an early lead. All right, Gary, I would give that to you, but honestly, with the way you're playing, I don't feel confident. And that is, Gary. go. First hole, double. Double? Double. Oh, Tig and I are tied. I'm one up. Anyways, how do you feel about the Tig, club? Tig, you had 150 yards and you made double. Oh, Good job. I should have hit 52. Should have. No. Should've. You barely got seven iron there and you full swung that. Shut up. All right, let me know what else you want me to put on the club face. I want something so weird that like it actually helps the ball or hurts it. Either way, let me know. Illegal golf club. Yeah, it's going to be the best illegal set wanna, you've ever seen. I want to try to wakeboard behind a golf cart. Like in the fairway. With what, grass? Yeah. Any. Wait, could it actually move along? Butter on the bottom, butter the fairway. Anyways, this no, is a long try it with the motorcycle. Car five. We'll just use it with my car. Ah, <laughs> true. <laughs> to rip your arms off. Anyway, something cool is coming soon in August. It's going to be sick. It's, it's some of the biggest things we've ever done. Yeah. We've been working on this Get for months. In the chat, we've, been right now. On this thing. we've been working on this thing for months on end. Dude, my one brain cell that I have left after all this, <laughs> he's clicking together. Him and Timothy are going hard. They're going hard. The one he unfortunately did not make it. That is why I'm now playing with rubber tires. Oh my lord, that is a rope. Whoa! That is a rope. Big. That was nice. That was a pound. That probably went 250. The bike tires take the spin off. What I've understood is the tight bike, bike tire. <laughs> the tight tire. The tight tires make it go so far. Holy Dude. crap. He cut the corner. Steven, you can officially put in the title that these things go far. That gum, it hit a tree. It bounced right though. Dude, this is like you've never seen before. Bike tires add 30 yards to the game. <laughs> Find out in the next episode of Steven's Brain Cell. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no, good. Steven. Oh, no. <laughs> Today, we get to play in the range. We're allowing it because it's a challenge. I don't think anybody's on the range. Typically, that's OB, but today it's not. It's going to be Steven's fairway. For some reason, I freaking draw the crap out of it. Look at these little boys. Come on, kids. Come on. <laughs> All right, so we made it to Steven's ball. He's over here on the left side in the range, dialing in the five iron. I am allowing it's free range for Steven. Oh, my. It literally is perfect. I don't understand it. Okay. It goes, okay, it zoomed in on the leaf, but it goes so much farther. That is just short of the green. The opposite, like I was saying before, a horse walked up on me. It is the opposite of what I thought I was building. I thought I was building spin. This thing just literally makes the ball go 30 yards farther. I feel like I'm TIG right now. You know how, like, there's a bunch of YouTubers out there that, I don't know if they still do it, but, like, the instructional YouTubers that say, do this one tip and add 35 yards, yards to your, your golf, golf game. game. Well, right. do this one tip Dude. and add 30 yards I'm to your just golf gonna say, game. You got a tire. You don't You don't really ride bikes anymore. Grab that sunbuck, rip the tire off, cut it up, and play the tournament. Say Steven Quesadilla said you could use it, and they will allow it. Maybe. Call me, okay. and then I'll call you back. Tig is currently 200 yards out. He's got seven iron. He can't even hit hard. It'll go over three. It's hard to tell exactly what kind of power. Everything's a fly or lie yeah. with these clubs. Literally. He chunked it. He chunked it and it's still gonna get if it doesn't bounce in the bunker. It bounced. <laughs> hit the bird. It literally hit, hit the bird. bird. It did. You, you hit actually a bird. hit that bird. What? It hit, hit the bird. bird. <laughs> it's wing, yeah. He literally was talking to you after he got hit. Like, bro, here is Garrett. This if this carries the bunker, it's gonna not stop. Bro, you're what if you had a baseball swing routine? I think I hit it better. <sighs> okay. 
Dude, that's gonna be right side of the green. Absolute mess of it. I think I need to go, actually. That spun, dude. Okay, it's an on and off this situation. That one actually spun a little bit. Yeah. All right, here's where I have landed. I got a nice little shot onto the green. Tig is right there, and then Garrett a little bit back there. All right, so this is his now third shot. <laughs> it is easy to chunk it. That's what I did on the <laughs> Since the, the club is literally fat, it grabs a hold of the grass. It's pretty interesting. And that is where Garrett has approached landed. Let me see if we can't get this up and down. He goes for the flop, and that's just going to be such a good shot. That release right there is just something he did not calculate for. Calculate. Watch this. I'm going to do this without standing in the bone. Oh, crap. <laughs> that is a backfire and a hang. Good job. And guys, to... that's the problem because there's so much thickness oh. right there. Yeah, exactly. So you got to hit way before behind the ball. Way before behind the ball. He didn't say a single word in that. All right, I can, You can I drive can... the cart to the next hole because you're going to have to go that way. Steven's got to get something down for par. <laughs> Steven follow did the opposite. Go ahead and hit that again. The follow through though? The follow through was 10 out of 10. This is for Steven's par. Shut up, Dave. You're losing right now. Now, the, a month, that's uh, my bogey. Crap. That is. I can't make that. I, I have a birdie. You do. So if you make a par, you're going to stay at two over. If I make that bogey, then we're tied. That is very true. If you miss, I make a par. Holy crap, take it that long. <laughs> that's going to be a good shot right there. Watch this release. It releases, it doesn't spin. He put as much spin as he could on it and it still released. Steven, you're for bogey. Yeah. One, two. Steve's is for pawn. Yeah, you are. I'm for bogey. You're for bogey, because he hit an extra shot. That's okay. We can't count right now. Push bad. Stop. Take Tap your par in. Take. Careful now. Hey. Slipped it in the right side. There's a right way to putt and there's a wrong way to putt. You always want to make it the right way. So Tig, you were three over. Good job. I'm two over. I'm just going to put Steven at two over if he makes this. That is a pure, that's a pure roll though. And that is good for his bogey. So I'm three over. You're two over. Uh, you're three over. I'm two over. Tig is three over after the second hole of the day. On to hole three. Par four. No, no, no. No, Tig. Beef. All right, Garrett has honors. He's going to take full advantage of that. Little man over there is going to go pick up his ball and go after me because we are currently tied, and I'm going to take the opportunity. I'm going to tell you a secret. It's fun to beat you. Take when I beat you here, what are you going to say? Garrett just roped the crap out of it. We have two holes left. This is a par four, and then we're going to play a nice little par three so we can get a little rippy roo. Oh! oh dude. <laughs> it's so good. I, I love the... I love... The illegal clubs literally have a reason why they're, they're illegal. illegal. What happens if we put that on the driver face? I'm curious as to what the sandpaper is going to do. Talk about spin. Well, we'll see. Maybe it doesn't. Gripped it and ripped it. Oh, oh geez. That looks like the two iron. Jimmy! Is that a five iron? It literally, no, oh. four iron. <laughs> it rips the ball up and... Imagine the, uh, the dual purpose of this. So imagine that you put, you have a bag of clubs that has these in it. You don't have to worry about your clubs getting scratched because okay. it's rubber. You know the other thing that you can use this for? A little trampoline. Exactly. It's like you can just set it down and just pop, pop, pop. Better be careful because he'll pow right into the air. What if we created like a plastic cover that added 20 yards to your game? I think I'm on to something, boys. All right, here we go. Steven's in the right side of the fairway. I have a seven iron. I'm going to see if I can't rip it up there. That's long. That's way long. Nah. It's about pin high. Might be left side. Ooh, boy, just drive. You drop a flop. Garrett, you know what to do. You know what I gotta try and do. <laughs> try the flop. Try a little flop at Eatopolis. Garrett, flop higher. Oh. He chunked it. That's that's the tough part about hitting these. Is they literally, you can't really get under it. Mark me down for a triple. I'm gonna take you on a trip to a triple cheesecake. Uh, look at the club. Uh, Just hanging really on. Wow. I was recording that side. Way. You see how that club is just hanging on? That's Tig hanging on to his matches lead. A GM fan page. Take a screenshot of that, post it, and meme it. This is an example of Tig hanging on to his lead right now. <laughs> you already heard the vibes. GM fan page knows not to do me like that. No, no, no. They love the banter. I got 52 degree from 140 60. 140 60. Right. All right. That's not there. Oh, it might be. Oof. Oh. That's going to be good. If Tig was a golf coach, he'd have people who have slices hitting it even more right because he doesn't know the direction. 
<laughs> he might. They'd be like, I have a problem with going right. Steve, I mean, he instantly tries and fix a hook. He tries to hit, fix the hook, and they're hitting a massive slide. Oh my lord! Oh my god! I wish I had that on camera. He literally just dropped six, seven hundred balls. Well, by now, we will have already destroyed Tig's car with these golf balls, but we gotta pick these up quick. Should we finish the the golf the round and then come back and pick them up? Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that. If someone's playing sunflower and you see about seven hundred balls on the fairway, I was Garrett. He's literally dropping more, <laughs> bro. And Garrett is right here. I am right up Watch there, it. just up to the green, and Tig is right there. Supposed to roll a ton. It's rolling. It's rolling a lot. It does roll a lot. Here, catch this. Ready? Three, two, one. Steven, you missed one of the most highlight plays of GM Golf history. What are you doing? Give me the hat. I'll give you the hat. All right, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can't chip this in for my nice little bird. Bruh. Okay. Hey, hey. You chunk the crap out of it. I'm still up. He's still up. Hey, Tiggy's still up. First bar. Gave it a little. Oomph. I, did you can't believe that I hit that. I didn't hit that hard enough. Now we got Tig for a nice little birdie. That's a good roll. I don't know if I can give that to you. And he's gonna make another bogey. Ah, that's good. Uh, that's good. Good, good. Yeah. Made it for the video. Got to do what you got to do. Now Tig, par, Ooh, bogey. Par. So wait, you are staying at three over. This is to put me at four. I'm three over. He's at three over. This is for your bogey. Put me at four. Hey, what a beast. After the third hole, Steve is four over. Tig and I are three over on the last hole. Mark my words, I'm making a hole in one and I'm taking the sweet victory that I haven't had in a long time. Final hole, a short par three. I tried to get 52 degree there and I got it. It's long. Okay, so remember when we were playing with your clubs? The gap wedge couldn't get there, but this literally added 17,000 yards. Dude, this is insane. Buttery crispy. That is a bunker. Good shot there, Dig. <laughs> he hit that same place earlier. All right, let's finish this out strong. We gotta pick up a lot of eggs. Exactly. Do you know you can't spell exactly without egg in it? See, the joke is you actually can't because it's not spelled with an E-G-G, -G, it's spelled with an E-X. <laughs> oh, no. Steven did make a hole in one. He made a hole in one. Steven, you, you almost made a hole in No, one. it didn't go in. I literally almost made a hole in one with the rubber club. 52 degree. Rubber ducky. Going up to the green. I Get, think we should have put bike tires on a putter. I wasn't thinking about that because, you know, I don't own a putter. All right, Garrett for his birdie putt. Little speed, gain speed, gain speed. Hey, Bam. Hey. Uh, yeah, Chiefs, do not sign him. Look at this shot. Of a shot if it was a foot to the left, that was a hole in one. For his birdie. He, Tig is basically... You know, Tig, you've taken yourself out of a challenge, my friend. Who's gonna make that for par? You make that for par, you, you stay at three over. If I make that, I go to three, three over. over. And we could all tie. Tig makes this. Unfortunately, I don't have a feeling he is. Oh, no. Uh, yes! <laughs> Four over par for the guy. So, at worst, I could tie Tig. And that's all I really care about. Take a second. If I make this... He beat me. I beat the oh, little, golly. Beat the if Tig... If uh, Steven makes this, Tig loses. He's not gonna miss those. Oh, oh my! He Tick. birdies the last. <laughs> birdies the last hole with this club. Wait, I gotta finish it with the bang. What is going on? Lots of talent within this group. Good job, Steve. I still gotta finish. Dude. No, wait, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tie, Steve. I'm oh, sorry. If Garrett makes this, he ties me, and we'll have a little chip off. All right, we gotta have a chip off. Good job. Tig, you tell us where to chip. We're chipping it from that place, and boom, we're gonna end it. All right, we're gonna go have a chipping off on the last hole close to the pin. Dang, dude, I love these clubs. They actually react pretty nicely. It takes some spin off the ball, so you actually do hit it. I think it just spins less, yeah. so you hit it farther. To finish this off, we're gonna pick one of these balls and have a closest to the pin right All over right. there. Here we go. Close to the pin. Oh, no. Steven, this is an easy dub for you. Literally, all I have to do is Don't joke. pretty much the center of the green, let it roll up there. Steven, for the victory roll, yeah. Oh. Steven. I don't know, he's on. I think I won, but we're gonna go check. And that one might go in the hole. Move your head. 
Why couldn't you have done that the first time, Steven? Here, why couldn't you have hit it worse? I Here. gave you the best opportunity to succeed. All right, unfortunately, as we get up to the green, Garrett, I think, took the dub. I'm not going to say for sure, but my second shot would have beat him for sure. That's all I know. Best two out of four. Do I get a second shot? No. Well, you know, the thing is, the moral of the story is Tig and Steven have an ongoing beef, and Steven beat Tig. That's all I care about, to be honest. I won the match. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the rubber tire. I don't know how I'm going to title it. We put rubber tires on our golf club. And honestly, I expected a lot of spin. Came out here. All it did was add a bunch of yards to our shot. <clears throat> like, a, a, like a gap wedge on that hole, I would never be able to hit that. But today, I was able to hit it almost a hole in one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are collecting all these illegal clubs, and we're going to have a whole bag. Right, let's finish this video out with a little. Oh, that's going to have some spin. Here you go. It didn't. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ah, we will catch you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.